All right, you guys, so I'm going to get into this recipe. First, I'm going to make a quick bread recipe that my father-in-law taught me a few years ago. It's pretty simple. I'm basically going to throw everything in my mixer. That's my flour and my, just the flour, plain all-purpose flour. Next, I'm going to put a pack of active dry yeast. I'm also going to add my brown sugar and salt. You want to mix that up a bit. Um, you're gonna add melted butter and then you're just gonna add water Mix it until it comes together and then we're gonna add the cheese and basil. This is basically a basil Parmesan bag baguette and you can leave the cheese out. It doesn't need it I just wanted that extra flavor. You can switch the cheese up as well as the herbs. It you know, it's very versatile All right, so here I have it in a greased bowl. I'm gonna cover it and allow it to proof. Mine's took about an hour, it didn't take long at all. This is what it looks like. And basically at this point, you wanna form whatever shape you want. If you have a bread pan, put it in a bread pan and have that perfect bread shape. I'm just forming like oval shapes, just to make like an oval shaped bread that I'm gonna use to make the grilled cheese. But again, this is very versatile, you guys. You can do whatever. This is the bacon that I made in a previous video. I'll make sure I link it below. This easy, easy candy bacon is just off the chain, amazing, delicious. <laughs> so you wanna brush your baguettes, uncooked baguettes with melted butter, as well as sprinkle on some more Parmesan cheese, and then you're gonna pop it in the oven. Guys, this bread was so soft and delicious and moist and just perfect and soft. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. All right, so I'm gonna be using some Colby pepper jack and some provolone for my grilled cheese. Of course, you guys, you can use whatever cheese you prefer on your grilled cheese. So I'm gonna start by putting two slices of the Colby down on the first slice just like this. Then I'm gonna put this amazing, crispy, sweet, spicy, candied bacon right in there. <laughs> I can't wait for y'all to check that video out. If you're not subscribed to me, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. So now to my pot, melted butter. You know how this goes. You add your sandwiches. I have I cover it just like this with a smaller lid so that the lid can touch the sandwich and press down on it. When I flip it, these are what they look like. And baby girl, <laughs> period. Uh, yeah, so let's cut into this. Somehow, I wish you, some of you guys lived close to me so you could eat my food <laughs> because I for sure didn't eat these sandwiches. I did try it, however, it's super balanced and just the bread, y'all, the bread, the bread, the bread was definitely the star of the show. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you come back and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye, guys.